Good morning everyone. I'm going to be painting sunflowers today in real time um, in half an hour. So uh, if you want to grab a coffee and enjoy this or paint along then um, let's get started. So for this painting I've used, um, I've, let, I've actually already done this painting but it didn't record or it turned off, I don't know which. So uh, this is my palette. This is a glass palette with stained um, paper underneath and the paper is stained with burnt umber, burnt sienna, sorry. And I have um, Mars Black, French Ultramarine Blue, Cobalt Blue, Burnt Sienna, uh, Cadmium Red, Deep Hue, the Oxide Green, Cadmium Yellow. I didn't use the Naples Yellow, so you can forget that, and Titanium White. Uh, now, I did uh, sunflowers in a blue vase, um, so I think I'm going to do sunflowers in a red vase because I don't want to paint the same painting. Um, so here we go. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the same background and I used for the background um, Mars Black, Burnt Sienna. I mixed it up and... French Ultramarine Blue and Titanium White. And that gave me a, an, a, a, an interesting sort of grey for the background. I'm actually going to warm it up also even with a bit of Cadmium Red. And I'm not going to mix it too thoroughly. I just need to top up my burnt umber. Let's see also the time, which is uh, 5 to 10. So we've got till 10.25 to paint this painting. Um, I'm just going to pop out some more burnt sienna there because, as I say, I have already, rather frustratingly, I have already painted this picture and I'm not entirely sure why it didn't come out, why it didn't record. So I'm already two minutes in, I haven't even started the background yet. <laughs> so let's get going. So we have this nice warm grey in the background. And we're going to have a warmer base. And I like to vary the tone so that um, I don't like it all smooth in the background. So if we get some flashes of unmixed colour, that's absolutely fine by me. And also the red is going to tie nicely in with the red vase. And then in the front, I'm just going to lighten this same mixture up now with um, a bit more burnt sienna to make it more uh, woody, perhaps, and some titanium white. And that's just going to be the base there. Again, I'm not bothered about streaks. That all adds to the interest of the painting. And keep the line nice and loose at the back there. Okay, now I'm gonna get straight into mapping out the shape of my vase because um, we are already, I'm gonna do a kind of tall, Vase like this, slightly <clears throat> and then I'm going to have this shade over here. I'm not going to worry about shade right now, but I am going to 
lock in. This vase, and what I didn't put on this um, palette because I had painted a completely different colour picture earlier was some alizarin crimson, which I think I am going to add to act for as the darker areas of this vase. But at this stage, just mapping in. I do want to actually I might just actually I might just darken it with black. Actually I didn't do that in my other painting, but I think the black and the, the red go quite well. So and that's just gonna give us some shape to this um vase. We want to add the curves in. And then not too much white, but we want a hint where the light would catch the curves of the vase. And we leave it fairly choppy, but I do want to fill in this red here. I don't want it to be translucent at all. I want the the vase to have some weight to it. Check I'm still recording. Not entirely sure what happened. Okay, for now, that will be the beginning of our, we are seven minutes in, so I need to start mapping in some of my leaves. And I'm just going to go straight in neat with the oxide green. Um, and I'm going to have, um, trying to do a slightly different painting than I did last time. Actually, I'm going to block in my um, flowers first, and I'm going to use a bit of burnt umber and cadmium yellow burnt sienna sorry burnt sienna and i'm going to put a sunflower in here facing up there so that's to our light source and i'm going to have one hanging down here over the vase i'm going to make this quite extravagant i think this one doesn't matter if it mixes in with the red there. Okay, and then we'll have um, maybe just a touch, a hint of one at the back behind some leaves. So I'm just putting this in to re remind myself of what I'm doing here. Um, so let's put in uh, where we think the leaves are going to go and let's have a nice leaf here. Sunflower leaves are, of course, quite big so we'll add some um, texture to that later and we have another leaf just hanging down against the side of the bowl there uh, and we'll have um, now we've got to have some leaves going up here now the, I'm gonna put some I am gonna make this darker actually because It would be, but I'm not especially going to go into detail with these leaves. They merely just serve as almost um, a frame, almost really, just for the flowers. A bit of French ultramarine blue added to the green and a bit of cadmium red yellow so that I can just add a touch of highlight here. And here. And then a little touch of shadow here where the flower and the leaf um, shield the bars from the light. So 
So you want as much shade here as if there is fatness, if you know what I mean, to the um, to the vase. So the, the the flatter the vase, the thinner this shade would be, this um, pattern of shade, if you catch my drift. Um, right, let's let's put in the centre of the, let's just check I'm still recording. Yes, I'm 10 minutes in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a bit of Mars Black to the Burnt Sienna and a touch of Cadmium Red. And I'm going to pop in the center, which would actually, I think, be even a bit darker, especially on that side. We don't have a center on that one. And we only have a bit showing there. Now we're going to slightly lighten that same mixture up with the cadmium yellow. And we're going to block in some of the darkest parts of the um, sunflower. Don't mind if you have streaks. It all adds to the interest. We're looking for, we're not looking for detail. We're looking for the dark patterns in the leaves, which would be also on this side because it's catching less light over here. I don't want that much red. But I'm not going to take it out. It's fine. And then on the other side, we just go a little bit lighter. And this is because this is catching, and this is um, just a key. This is just telling us where everything is. And then on this side, we would have. So we're going to have a touch of green in our mid-tone mixture, which is the uh, Burnt Sienna, Cab Red, Mars Black, and a touch of the green on the underside of this sunflower here. And then also on the one I think receding in the back, which we can highlight later <coughs> with um, with what, what with yellow. <clears throat> See, I'm not quite used to <laughs> I'm not quite used to this yet. This talking and. <clears throat> I do want to just indicate the stem on the back of that one so that it makes some sense and it has some context to it. So I just want to go down and restate that black, that darker colour there and also there. And also just slightly there. Okay. Right, we're going to forget that for a moment and go back in to a, uh, I'm going to go for a more mid-tone now. So we're going to just add a touch of yellow, touch more yellow to our burnt sienna cad red mixture. We're going to bring it up a bit, bring it up a level. And we're going to look for some mid-tones now. So we have some, we have some mid-tones here and we're going to start now just to weave in some suggestion of shape to these petals we don't want to cover all the dark all the brown because then we we're getting it we'll just spoil the depth we won't have any depth to it to what to what we're doing we're just trying to pick out now some mid-tone highlights before we go in with um our highlights are sort of lightest lights, if you like. And the paint is getting also, I'm leaving it to get slightly thicker with each highlight with each sort of as I come up the color the 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 light the value scale um I as it gets lighter I am um, 
the paint is also getting thicker. So this is also mid-tone, but I've just lightened it with white and a bit more cad red. Just so that I've got a more, just some variation in the mid-tone. Sunflower is quite calm. How, where are we at now? 15 minutes. Okay, so we're, we're okay. We're doing okay. Um, oops, maybe that was a bit bright there. Right, okay, I'm going to leave it as I like it because it gives a it gives the eye something. It's like look at me. And what I did there with that was that <clears throat> I started with the brush on one angle, and then I so I started this side, and then I twist it as it touches. So twist it so that this. So that the paper, so that it goes like this on the paper from one to the other down. But don't do that on every petal. You know, you want to vary it because it, otherwise you just start to get a, a, just a formulaic look. And now I'm going to start trying to pick out... <clears throat> some flashes of highlight just to so my camera cut off so I don't know how much you missed I don't think it was much um, but we have 10 minutes left so just check my so um Sorry about that, if there is any um, break in the video. So I just want to make this um, yellow a bit more gold um, by adding titanium white and the cadmium red. really want to go under those again oh I know what I was doing I forgot where I was that's right because I was fixing my um, camera but what I was doing was the center so I will continue with that Just feel like that just doesn't quite have enough depth on that side. So I'm just gonna add that's better, I think, and then just some highlight. Sunflowers, of course, being quite raggedy. So I just wanted to go over this again. That's what I was doing, wasn't I? Um, and I do like to put a little bit of red in my sunflowers. And especially it ties in with the um, bars then. So 
Now, obviously, I'm under time pressure and I've got um, about seven minutes left. I'm just going to put a bit of dark in here. Restate it again. And I'm going to put um, also under here some, and I'm going to come out this side here. I'm going to take some of my background colour from up here and make a shadow here. And then in the centre of that shadow, just go a bit darker as well. The closer you get to the bars. Oh, that's a dirty rag I've been using. Just basically putting the dirt back on my... <laughs> it's just... over that again I, I didn't sort my brush out before I began Okay, and you can just, if you want, you can just pull that so it doesn't have a hard line. Like so. Okay, and now all that remains, now of course you can go back and you can restate, do the petals how you like, put a bit more detail in, but... Uh, what are we on for time? We, we've got a bit more time, so we could do that. But I am just going to concentrate a little bit on... Um, I want some... Definitely some highlights on my vase to suggest the fullness of it, the shine on it. There. So I allowed my paint, my brush to... I allowed the to split because you can you can oil them up and put plenty of paint on mix it and then it'll stick back together but sometimes uh, with this one I always paint with this same brush for my demonstrations which prevents me from fiddling with detail um, so that I don't bore you half to death with a three-hour video or something um, and then sometimes it splits and that's actually perfect when you want raggedy petals or raggedy details you know when you don't want it to be so pristine so going to go in thicker with a super highlight and i'm going to put one down there i want it to be a little bit i want it to just wriggle down here it wouldn't have one there so i'm not gonna just i just want that to be a bit smoother So, and I'm going to restate red thickly in parts to give the bars some fullness and texture just because I've got more time than I thought. So that's really nice. I can really give some volume to this vase and make it look, look a bit old also by fracturing the, breaking up the colour like so. A nice old raggedy vase. Well, I think that's the end of this video. Um, you can obviously 
If you are painting along, then you can obviously go along and refine um, the details however you please. Or, or use this to paint from life so just use it as a as a reference and then go and get your own sunflowers and um, paint from life that would be good um, I would definitely recommend you doing that and um, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you um, have learned something from it if you have any questions or you want to see something else in my videos, please let me know. Um, you know, I want to do whatever you want. I want to make videos that, that you want me to make. So, um, you know, you let me know in the comments below and I will see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.